some diseases are caused by bacteria and viruses but did you know that some are caused by not getting enough nutrients in your diet ever wondered what happens when your body doesn't get all the vitamins and minerals it needs or why some people get sick even though they eat every day what really happens when we don't get enough nutrients illness that happen because of the lack of certain nutrients is what we are going to discuss today and that is called a deficiency disease let us find out how missing these vitamins and minerals can affect our health you might have noticed older people like our grandparents sometimes develop cloudy or foggy vision as they age this is a condition called cataract and cataract is actually linked to deficiency of vitamin a a deficiency of vitamin b on the other hand causes a disease called beriberi but what is beriberi it is a condition where you feel tired weak and even have trouble moving muscles a lack of vitamin b can also lead to painful canker sores inside your mouth usually on uh, gums and cheeks painful sore inside mouth on gum and inside cheeks is called canker sore and is a condition developed due to the deficiency of vitamin b now you might have experienced weakness fatigue or sore limbs or noticed bleeding gums and slow healing wounds these are signs of disease called scurvy caused by deficiency of vitamin c scurvy leads to all the weakness fatigue all these symptoms including uh, bleeding gums and uh, poor wound healing so what is the deficiency of vitamin c cause causes a deficiency this is called scurvy we have learned that vitamin d plays a big role in helping our body absorb calcium which makes our bone and teeth stronger so it makes sense that uh, not getting enough vitamin d can lead to weaker or softer bones in children this condition is called rickets where bones don't grow properly in adults it's called osteomalacia which also causes soft and weak bones bone pain and muscle weakness is also accompanied with osteomalacia so deficiency disease caused by a lack of vitamin d is known as rickets in kids and osteomalacia in adults now sebum if you have heard is a natural substance produced by our skin that helps keep it smooth and slightly oily now if you don't get enough vitamin e it actually affects how our skin absorbs sebum and if you remember vitamin e is important for keeping our skin healthy and smooth so a deficiency of vitamin e can lead to of course dry and unhealthy skin because it stops our skin from absorbing enough sebum now moving on to the deficiency of vitamin k vitamin k if you remember helps your blood clot when you get a cut so it stops bleeding now if you don't get enough vitamin k the bleeding won't stop properly whether it is from an external cut or an internal bleeding without enough vitamin k your body can't clot the way it is supposed to which means the bleeding will continue longer than it should moving on to mineral salt a deficiency in calcium can lead to a weak and fragile bones not getting enough calcium in our diet will eventually cause a calcium deficiency in the body which can also weaken our teeth over time now do you often feel uh, pale uh, tired or dizzy it might be due to a condition where your body is not making enough blood and this condition is called anemia anemia is a serious condition caused by deficiency of iron or ferrous salt and without iron in your body your body cannot produce enough healthy blood which leads to feeling tired dizzy low on energy and looking very pale this condition is called where swelling of the neck caused by the enlargement of thyroid is called 
goiter. Goiter can make it hard to swallow or breathe. And in children, a lack of iodized salt can also hinder mental development. So getting enough iodized salt is a priority for both your thyroid health and overall growth. That's a lot of information regarding diseases caused by deficiency of vitamins and minerals. Uh, let's have a look at a quick summary of vitamin and mineral deficiencies. Vitamin A vitamin A deficiency can lead cause cataract and poor vision. Vitamin B deficiency leads to beriberi and canker sore. Vitamin C deficiency causes scurvy and which is fatigue and sore limbs and bleeding gums and poor wound healing. Vitamin D causes rickets in children and osteomalacia in adults. Vitamin E deficiency leads to dry skin, unhealthy skin by affecting the sebum absorption. Vitamin K deficiency prevents blood from clotting properly leading to excessive bleeding. Calcium deficiency causes weak and fragile bones. Iron deficiency or ferrous salt deficiency causes a condition called anemia where body is not making enough blood. And lastly, iodized salt deficiency causes goiter and enlarged thyroid and can slow the mental development in children.